Fuzzy friends, it's Julie, and today I'm just going to be testing out a little product and then applying my makeup and just filming the whole thing um, because uh, I'm going out to dinner at a restaurant tonight and I'm currently having an allergic reaction to something and it's flaring up, it's triggering my rosacea. Um, I don't, you can't really tell because my cheeks are really, really pink right now, but right around here there are actually hives, which is because I'm actually reacting to a fabric or maybe the new dishwasher detergent I used this morning or something, I have now come in contact with something that is making um, me actually have hives, like an allergic reaction. <laughs> and so now obviously my rosacea saw that and got jealous and decided it wanted to play too. So I thought now's a good time to try a new um, concealer product because let's see if it can really do the job. So um, I've washed my face. I'm in intensely um, basic skincare mode right now which is like super basic cleanser and then followed by if you if you've been um, following me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram you know that my thing right now is um oh I've got one of the products here well rose water which um I've now bought a giant bottle of because I love it so much I mean this one is way smaller but yeah so rose water followed by um choke cherry oil which I found to find to be probably the most soothing um, thing ever. <laughs> I can't believe I used the rose water as basically a toner in, in place of a toner and then I just moisturize with a couple of drops of the choke cherry oil and my skin can tolerate it regardless of what's going on. But so that's what I've done so far. The product that I'm actually gonna be trying out is this one here. Let's see if we can get the, there we go. Let's see, there. Yay, so um, it's this, <laughs> and that would be the Physician's Formula uh, Powder Palette Multi-Colored Face Corrector. Um, it looks like it's, it says it includes a brush and a mirror. I probably won't use a brush room in here because it looks like the exact same thing as this one here, um, which is, I don't know if I still have the box anymore, but it's essentially the um, talc-free pressed powder. Um, from so it looks like the exact same case and therefore I'm assuming it's the exact same brush which I hated. <laughs> I loved I like the powder quite a bit actually um, when I apply it with a different brush so that's probably what I'll be doing with this one. Um, this color is green which is 1639C. Um, it says tones down redness with a natural finish and it's good for all skin tones so um, that sounds lovely to me. <laughs> oh and I just just um, washed my hair so it's in a giant velcro curly phase right now but we'll get that out of the way after doing makeup <laughs> okay so yep they look like they are the exact same kind of um case and the powder i'll just open it up so you can stop getting a reflection but i hope you can see the colors it's hard for me to see on my little screen thing but there are tons of colors there are greens of different shades and then like light green dark green medium green white and kind of a taupey color in there so yep and then Oh, I don't remember how to do oh yeah I remember where the brush is yeah it's the it's the exact same brush and actually um, one of you recommended that I use it as a keyboard cleaner <laughs> because I didn't like the brush at all and it is the best keyboard cleaner I have ever had so thank you very much for that tip love that I will I have it next to my computer now like see here's the uh, the pressed powder one completely empty no brush in there because it's at my computer <laughs> so yeah so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to put some primer on and then I'm going to give this green stuff a try and um, see if it works, see what kind of coverage I get and then I'm just going to apply a full face of makeup to see how it looks underneath because that's kind of, I don't want to just sit there with a green face, it's supposed to actually conceal something. So yeah, so hopefully this will be entertaining for you and hopefully this product will be great. Okay, so instead of the brush that it actually comes with, I'm just going to use this little uh, teensy kabuki brush that I have from um, the All Natural Face. It's a vegan brush, I believe, and it's one of my favorite brushes for things like powders. So um, going for it with this one, I'm just going to take this and sort of sweep across it a couple of times to see if I can get all the colors in one kind of go. And wish me luck! Ooh, wow, did you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going to like this, I hope. Okay, so that's that side of my face done and this side not. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yay, finally I got a Physician's Formula pro product to work on the first go because if you've been watching my videos for a while, normally it's either kind of working or it's not working at all and then you leave me fantastic comments and then I go back and do a second video where it actually works. So yay me, I got it to work. <laughs> Okay, 
Well, the coverage I'm finding is absolutely spectacular. Um, I, I mean, it's not completely flawless, but I haven't got any of my makeup on yet. I'm gonna have you know, at least powder to go on it. Maybe I'll just put this powder on over top because I don't need perfect coverage. I just want a little bit um, and enough to cover up a little bit of blush in case I blush at the restaurant because I have social anxiety disorder. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, but it doesn't look green. It has a greeny kind of tint. I wouldn't just leave this by itself, but I don't think that's what it's meant for anyway. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. The only thing that I'm seeing right off the bat and that I'm going to correct in a way that I'll show you in a second is I don't know if this camera will zoom in close enough, closely enough, but there is dry skin there. There. And that's um, because this product does have talc in it. I think it's actually called itself made from the finest Italian talc and ideal for all skin types. Well, clearly my skin type is objecting a little bit by getting crazy dry, especially because I just put my very favorite moisturizer on that has never done this under any other product. But um, yeah, I think that just misting a little bit with, um, this one is o -thermal, it's thermal water anyway, with from Aven. Um, just a little mist from this and then kind of going over it with the brush a little bit should do the trick. Um, it's solved that problem with other products in the past, so hopefully that'll do it again this time. So I'll give that a little spritz. That seemed to make a really big difference. Um, it's The dryness isn't 100% gone, but it is really, really improved. And I have a feeling it'll just fade out um, over time as the day goes on. And so my skin does actually produce a tiny bit of its own oils. So yeah, it doesn't feel like it's drying any further than it had been. So um, that's a really good sign. Um, so yeah, so now I am starting to run out of time. So I'm just gonna apply the rest of my makeup. I'll probably put this in fast forward so then we can see how it looks underneath makeup. If I just put a powder on as opposed to my whole, um, you know, layer after layer of foundation and then powder and then all that kind of stuff. So I'll just put powder and then I'll put on a little blush and then just go ahead and finish off my makeup and we'll see how that goes. would just like to point out that um, in case you're wondering I'm not using the same kind of like I'm not using this brush without cleaning it off at all um, I am kind of sweeping over this thing in um, in between and this is actually a tip that I saw on another channel from talcum powder XO and um, it's a tip that I really really like it's basically taking one of those you know those hair donuts that they sell at I don't know I got this at the dollar store and they're they're meant to you put your hair through it and make a bun somehow I've never used them before <laughs> but if you put one in a little dish and then you just go like this with your what your brushes um, you can clean off all the powder that's on there in between uses so if you want to use the same brush and switch colors this cleans it off really really great I mean it doesn't clean it off in the sense that like after I'm done applying all my makeup I will clean this before I use it again but if I want to switch from the green to the um, kind of translucent stuff that I have here, then it does a really great job for that. So I just thought I would point that out. Yay, Talcum Powder XO, thank you very much for that tip. I know you got it from somewhere else. I don't remember where that was, but I got it from you, so you're getting credit today. <laughs>
I don't know, I think it's good. <laughs> I mean, especially considering that I only apply to powder um, after um, applying the concealer. Like, that's not bad at all. I still have a really small dry patch that seems to have reappeared here, which doesn't make me happy. But um, I'll maybe give myself another little spritz with this, uh, this, just this thermal water and see if that's just enough. I'm wondering if it's not a dry patch. I'm wondering if it's actually a a clump of makeup. I don't want to actually touch my face too much, so I'm just kind of going, and by the way, I'm not using my nail, I'm using the pad of my baby finger to try and just see if I can, if it's just powder, if I can just disturb it and make it fall off, because I don't like it there. But, um, I think that's just noticeable to me, because, <laughs> um, other than that, I think, I think it's not bad at all. Um, I definitely can't see any green through it, and I feel like any pink that's there is either just a teensy little bit, or it's actually just the blush that I applied because that's not actually the color of the rosacea flare-ups. It's slightly, um, it's a slightly kind of brighter pink here. So it is really, really bright outside. It's that really bright gray outside because we just had a snowstorm. So it's that like freaky bright gray with the white on the ground. So um, I don't know if anything is showing up with the right colors on my camera right now because there's a window right there behind you. <laughs> so, um, but I'm hopeful anyway that this is, uh, that this looks good. I guess I'll see how it is once I get outside and I look. But uh, one thing that I did want to point out is the mirror in this is really good. It's got a slight zoom to it and it's a very clear mirror, which is kind of rare. A lot of the, the mirrors are kind of, um, they're just not perfectly crisp um, or they're just so teensy you can't really see anything. This one I'd show you, but I mean, it's just all you'll see is the reflection of a camera. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's really good. So that's that's actually impressive. I didn't really have a good look at it when I tried it with the um, the talc-free talc powder, but the uh, the concealer is definitely a really good mirror. That makes it very very easy to apply. I'm sorry that I only started using it when I was doing my eye makeup. So yeah, that was for this uh, this product here, the Physicians Formula powder palette multi face multicolored face corrector for all skin tones. Yeah, so I don't I'm I'm actually really happy with it and in powder form it goes on really really quickly. Um I don't think it gives the coverage of some of the mineral powders that I've tried, but um in terms of something that I can just grab at the um drugstore really quickly and that I could throw in my purse, this is impressive, especially cuz it's pressed, so a lot of the mineral powders are loose. But yeah, no Pretty impressed, pretty happy with it. Don't really know what else to say about it. Very, but yeah, no, glad I bought it now. And um, I will definitely be using that again. Oh, and um, one thing that I haven't, I've only said something about it on my social media. I haven't said it in, on the videos yet, is um, I have launched a magazine. Um, I will put a link to it in the description. It is absolutely free and you do not need to subscribe to anything for it. Um, it's just, you can, either view it through the issue app or you can just see it directly on a web or mobile browser. So um, it's completely, completely free. I'm not selling you anything. I won't ask for money through it, um, but I'm hoping to make it a monthly publication depending on you know the interest in it. And I'm very excited about it. I've had a really good response for the first one so far. So thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so I hope you'll go and check that out if you're interested in what I have to say in my little magazine. It's just a teensy thing, but I think it's a great place to share just some of the little ideas and just sort of sum up what I've done in a month um, when it comes to treating my rosacea and living the rosy lifestyle. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Between that and the comments, it's the best way to actually tell me that um, this is the kind of video that you like watching, that I'm making. If you do like this kind of video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Sunday and Thursday. And other than that, I will see you next time.